Jeffrey did Molly you on. Jeffrey is recording. Oh, she's recording again. I'm, I'm recording again now. And as long as I remember to set the microphone as I have, then it's all good. <laughs> Where have we had that before? <laughs> well, all right. Another PowerPoint, even though he said he wasn't going to do it. He did because I asked him to very nicely. You have to. <laughs> Here it goes. Oh, I'm so much about to do it again. <laughs> I just want to minimise it, that's all. <laughs> now, Vatican. Still, it's all very exciting. They're having their pre-meeting before the conclave. Haven't yet announced when the conclave will be. But April does appear to be the Good Friday. Good Friday, the, the, the 29th. That's the date that they would be uh, perfectly to announce something good as opposed to yes. something bad. Yeah, I was just saying that uh, Good Friday, the 29th of March, would be a day for a glorious announcement. And 71 years old. Because uh, that's the date that he's 71 Hebrew years old. From conception, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All good. Holy. Now, the Vatican, 111th Pope Ratzinger announced his resignation February 11th, 2013. First to resign since uh, Gregory the 12th on July 4th, 1415, and July the 4th points to the USA. Brian's father was born on February 11th, 1909, so that was, uh, of course, 104 years ago. At 5.55, the Vatican was struck with lightning. The word Christ is found within 525 verses 555 times, and that's in the KJV Bible 1611 only. Now, moving over to the Jesus statue in Rio, it was completed and then dedicated on October the 12th on, uh, in 1931. So that date was 4,474 days prior to the rebirth date of the Christ. Jesus born again to the earth in the flesh, January 11, 1944. The number 4474 in Hebrew is from Mashal. To have dominion or to rule. See Genesis 49.10. So what it is saying, the Jesus statue is predicting when Christ will be born to the earth. It is found only in Daniel. 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 <laughs> That's Daniel. his brother. <laughs> That's his brother. All right. Daniel is Daniel's brother. <laughs> Forget it. Daniel. <laughs> Chapter 11, verse 3 to 5. Hebrew Dictionary, 4474, Mimshal, Mimshol, from 4910, a ruler, or abstractly ruled, dominion, that ruled. Obama equals mighty king to the present. All right, and a mighty king, oh, of course, reading right along. And a mighty king shall stand up that shall rule with great dominion, and do according to his will. And when he shall stand up, his kingdom shall be broken and shall be divided toward the four winds of heaven and not to his posterity, nor according to his dominion, which he ruled, for his kingdom shall be plucked up even for others beside those. And the king of the south shall be strong and one of his princes and he shall be strong above him and have dominion. His dominion shall be a great dominion. So, yeah, it's describing Obama. His kingdom is going to be divided, plucked up, and shall be divided toward the four winds of heaven. Of course, we're in the heavenly realm now, now having crossed um, over into the north side of the Milky Way galaxy, which is what all the hollow Bulu has been out for, about for years, and nobody's talking about it. Dominion, 4910, Mashal, Mashal, to rule, have, make to have dominion, reign, rule, ruling, have power. And here is the lightning strike that hit the statue on, uh, we'll come to it, but uh, on um, February 10th, 2008. There it is there, the distance in time, 12th of October, 1931. Until the 11th of January 1944, 4474 days or 639 
weeks and one day. Now the distance measuring from the Redeemer statue in Rio to Jerusalem is 6,414 miles. And that's from 6419. It is a magistrate or judge. The measurements of the mountain that it is on, 2,300 uh, feet from sea level. The statue itself is 99 feet high on a platform that is 20 feet high. And uh, it all adds up to 2419 which in Greek equals Jerusalem. So the Christ is here to judge Jerusalem. The sunlight duration for Rio on the date of the Redeemer statue dedication, October 12, 1931, was 749 minutes. That is Arak, Aramaic, and properly corresponding to 748, but used only in the sense of reaching to a given point to suit be meet. Greek 749, the high priest, which of course is the Christ. The sunlight duration for Rio on the date of the Redeemer statue lightning strike, so that was February 10th, 2008, was 778 minutes. And uh, it means the earth. As the earth is a sphere, then the farthest you can go away from the statue is... 10,084.05 miles. It therefore proves the Creator was Jesus in the flesh and is the same today, back as the Christ with his new name, Brian Leonard Gallatly Marshall. So 10,084.05 times pi is 31680, which is 3168, and that, of course, is the Greek gematria total for the Lord Jesus Christ. That's 800 plus 888 and 1480 added together, Lord Jesus Christ. So likewise, we can measure from the North Pole 10,084.05 miles. And it is a line around the South Pacific that passes along the line at the tip of South America. So this is the line here, which measures this distance from the North Pole, and then of course it's um, pointing south there, so pointing to the South Pole, but th this distance is actually measured from the North Pole. Now Tahiti is 5,000 miles from the South Pole, and 49,10 miles to the 10,084 Point zero five mile line, tip of South America. And of course, 49.10 is Brian's name in Hebrew and is Genesis 49.10. The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from between his feet until Shiloh come. And unto him shall be the gathering of the people. So the Christ is Shiloh, and it is his name, Mashal. Now, why? Uh, here's Tahiti, and here um, Captain Wallace, coming from England, followed by Lieutenant Cook, sailed around South America to land on Tahiti, 5,000 miles, so this distance down here to the South Pole. 666 days after Wallace. Yes, so Lieutenant Cook followed Wallace 666 days later. I go through this one? I didn't. Oh, here we go. Yes, I did. Sorry, guys. Just a little bit of revision in the last 10 seconds. <laughs> oh. All right, the discovery of Tahiti by Captain Wallace, which he named George III Island, was revealed by the 50th layer of masonry on George III Island, later named Tahiti, stood an 11 tiered pyramid, the base was 87 by 267 feet, or a footprint of 23,229 square feet. Now, um, Brian's grandfather, Francis Aloysius Golightly, was 23,229 days old when the Christ was reborn to the earth. So soon after the Admiralty heard, they sent an army to demolish it. What did they have? They had a prophecy of the future. 
distance that Christ has recorded in his creation, the measuring of it. Now the date of lunation zero, <clears throat> this is the reset by British astronomers, was December 11th, 18th, 1922. I'm having trouble tonight. Carry I must on. need a mo another mocker. You reckon I need another mocker? No. <laughs> Not this time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get back to some serious. Lunation zero, December the 18th, 1922. From that date to the Christ's rebirth is the word queen and is what it's all about. God must find his queen, which is righteous humanity, regardless of man's religion and dwelling within the children who will all be taught that God is love. Love is Jesus. Jesus is Christ today. It's the Trinity being the same soul in three different dispensations of time and locations. And that is the distance from the base level of the pyramid to the floor of the king's chamber. The 50th layer on the uh, pyramid is lunation 260, January the 11th, 1944. And of course, there are 260 chapters in the New Testament of the 1611 KJV Bible. Now, Wallace sailed from Tahiti to Easter Island, where there are today 887 statues. One was taken to England, the total of 888 statues in the beginning. There's a map of Easter Island, amazing place. It proves so much in the measuring of it, all pointing to the Christ. Here they are, all in various states of fit, terror, calamity. Here's the distance in time, Monday, 18th of December, 1922, the resetting of the lunations of the moon back to zero until the rebirth of the Christ date, January 11th, 1944, 7694 days or 1099 weeks and one day. And 7694, Shay Gaul from 7693, a queen. And it's this distance here in green. Here's the Pope. He resigned at midday. Now, he'd been unable to stop the gross evil in the Vatican, including Satanism, pedophilia, homosexuality, Jewish cardinals, Freemasonry. He is a cardinal, Joe Joe. There you go. I've done it again. Why do you say that? Joe Bon Paul. <laughs> Pope John Paul. Joke. <laughs> Pope John Paul II stopped him prosecuting known pedophiles. He said he was disgusted with the filth in the church. He was the 111th Pope. He's being hung for a whole lot of things that uh, it's all a distraction. All right, there's that lightning strike now, famous, five hours and 55 minutes after. The Pope resigned, lightning struck the Vatican. And of course, it's all about the Christ who's here on the earth explaining all things to devour mankind. The enemy of all souls has kept the knowledge back, and that's the Jew who calls himself a Jew and a not. There it is, 5.55 on the clock. I have a second hand, it'd be five minutes after, five seconds after, rather. Close up. There it is again. Now, this is revision. This was covered in uh, a video a few days ago, but it's all good. In the next slide is the star that was overhead at the time of the lightning strike, YBS0966, which means in Hebrew, lightning. <laughs> lightning struck the statue of Jesus in Rio for the first time on the 10th of February 2008, and the number of days between the two strikes was 1829, counting both days or 1828, and this means to spew or to vomit. Found in Leviticus 18.28, quoting that the land spew not you out also when you defile it as it spewed out the nations that were before you. The word spew is found in Revelation 3.16, quoting, So then because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Mission accomplished, don't you think, babe? No. Yeah. There it is, the star overhead, 0966, the rise, the set, all the numbers.
1828, 966, same as 965, lightning. And there it is, it was actually a trinity. One, two, three. Trinity of lightning strike. Here we go. The next drawing shows the distance from Jesus, Rio statue to Jerusalem. Note to the right, the Magellan waypoints form a circle. From the Jesus statue to any of these locations, the distance measures the same at 10084.55 miles. Why? Multiply um, by pi, you've got, which is 31. 3.14159 equals 31680 miles. Lord Jesus Christ. In other words, measuring to these points, the meter increases, then as it passes, it decreases. Demonstrating the farthest point from Jesus Rio statue is 10084.05 miles. Anywhere on that? Yeah. Um, must be. Is this changing all your numbers around here? No, it's just good. <laughs> uh, no, there it is. Jesus to the farthest point, 10084.05 miles. Yes. Oh, rather marvellous, isn't it? That's that circle before we went to New Guinea. Passing through 16 nations, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. There it is on the map, the edge, the top arc going through London, United Kingdom, into the South Pole measuring 10084.05 miles. Oh, no. Measuring once from the South Pole, you're measuring once from the North Pole. Yeah. That gives you two lines, one across Scotland. Yeah. The other one. Oh, oh yeah, I, yes, I see. Yeah, so the UK line is from the South Pole, right. heading north, yeah. I haven't got that down there, babe. Yeah. Here it is, here, on the next one, yeah. yeah. So this is that yellow line that was on the globe in the previous slide is this line here going through. It is, um, passes through the UK. Is that marvellous? This distance is... It's actually strong. Yeah. Scotland, Edinburgh. right through Edinburgh. Hmm. Hmm. There it is then. There's a lot of Australian and the Scotland. Yeah. Scotland's what it's all about, King William the Lion of Scotland, the Rock of the Scone, and of course Yahweh's descendant. Born and died December the 4th, 1143, born, died, same date, 1215. Now, this is the distance in time between the lightning strike, the days again, between the uh, Jesus Rio statue when it was struck by lightning and when the lightning struck the spire of St. Uh, Peter's Basilica. All right, the Julian uh, date, time, 24. 653, that's not what we're looking at here, we're looking at the sub tens number for the sun. It's 0 0.5400 degrees and that is a, a terrific portent, a fearful sight. It's also um, the distance in time between Yahweh's older sister, June, who was born Jan uh, August the 18th, 1938 and his rebirth date, January 11th, 1944. It's the number of days, and um, it means terrific portent, fearful sight, and she was exactly that in his life. She was um, terrifying to her, her young brother. There's the lightning strike, and very similar in shape to the one that occurred on the Vatican Spire, which was the Trinity. Here it is again. And... Here's the Luke Warm, the number being 5513, which happened to be the telephone number for Brian's second wife, Pauline, in Port Alberni. And 
so then because thou art lukewarm, it was also her name, Lucas, and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. And that's what he did with her um, for her dishonesty and lies. And of course it resulted in his arrest <laughs> when she read the verse after her. Now, from the moon position over the surface of the earth to the statue of Jesus. This is where the moon was when the lightning struck the statue of Jesus. It was 22, 22 miles. His uh, body weight, most of his life, all of his life as an adult has been 22, uh, 22 two pounds. It's also the verse total for the words truth and wisdom. Each of those words are found 222 um, in 222 verses of the KGB. It's also Isaiah 22, 22, quoting, and the key of the house of David will I lay upon his shoulder, so he shall shut and none, <laughs> so he shall open and none shall shut, and he shall shut and none shall open. <laughs> and it means uh, pouring rain to flow, pouring rain, water. And of course it was pouring rain, when the Vatican was struck. And Statue of Jesus. Oh, of course. Uh, yes. The statue. Oh. oh <laughs> That's what we're talking about, isn't it? We were talking about the Statue of Jesus. Oh, <laughs> God, I'm going. You know we'll have to do end. this one again. It's all right. Nearly at the end. Nearly at the end. Done like a ninja. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are, we're looking at the globe, and I forget even what we Oh, this is the moon position, right? Looking down at the earth. <laughs> Here it is. Oh boy, she's losing it. Here's the moon position, here's where it was, and this is the distance to the Jesus statue, the Rio statue. And of course, it was raining on the night that it struck on the 10th of February 2008. <laughs> oh, second, two, two to go, three, four. <laughs> Now, from the sun position over the surface of the earth, which day are we talking about? Back to the, the Jesus. Strike. The Jesus. lightning strike, the Jesus, Jesus. yeah. Okay, so <laughs> there were two lightning strikes. <laughs> oh, it's too much, babe. Well, you said that you, you know, you came out of retirement, look what happens. <laughs> So from the sun position of the surface of the earth <laughs> to, <laughs> to his rebirth location in Sydney, it measures 6495 nautical miles from the Hebrew dictionary re redoubled. Could be doing that in laughter, doubled up. Opening of a dungeon, jail delivery, figuratively salvation for sin, opening of the prison door. Can we have a... That's it. We've got one on me. <laughs> oh, that's a talk slam, isn't it? <laughs> All right, let's hear it is. <laughs> There's the uh, length, no new legs. So there it is. Rebirth location here at 105 Rothschild Avenue, Rosebury, Sydney, Australia. And we're coming up to the last slide, which is a repeat of the former slide. So <laughs> it's just driving home the opening of the prison. One, two, three. <laughs> it's all for now, folks. Let's call it next Good Friday. Yes. A good, good Friday. A good, good Friday. That'll be really good. Now, how do I turn this off? John, where is it? <laughs> push F something. Uh, no, 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 that's, oh, that's, that's that one. So just do it one at a time. All right. Screen capture. <laughs> F9.